Hi Taurus, this is your reading for the 18th to the 14th of June 2020 and I welcome back for, first of all to my Cyber Angels and uh, thank you very much for your likes and sharing. I appreciate it very much. I've had a lot of good reactions on the Romance cards. So Gemini and Capricorn were the highest and still moving up so um, I'm going to do them first. The highest next week will be first. So make sure that if you want to be the first to give us the thumbs up and you'll be first or second. So please keep on sharing and liking. I do go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a donation. You can find more information beneath this video in the description box and also in the white dot in the right hand corner. That will take you to the website and there you can find the reviews, interviews, uh, all kinds of reviews especially on these three new decks that I have, the Shadowlands, the Mirror Truth Lenamon and the White Witch. Okay, and that is what your reading will consist out of besides the Angel Feather card. I hope you have also watched the 7 month forecast, the update on the yearlies and the romance readings if you haven't, go and have a look and last week's and see whether last week's resonates with this week's, what has changed. So use it for thought, food for thought. Okay, remember this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your um, moon sign or your rising sign. Okay, um, and there is a competition uh, started and I will be discussing at the end of June uh, I'll go live and hopefully you will interact if you have uh, if you have joined the competition what the uh, issues or questions or problems are uh, on perhaps you might have a question uh, do I have to choose a theme no you don't so you know just uh, everybody is a winner in this competition as you can win the Shadowlands uh, or um, vice versa uh, or a free reading but nobody is a loser in this competition because you have to make a vision board and use it and so you can always main, uh, change it and use it and perhaps it, this has motivated you to start using a vision board to manifest what you want and to keep it empty your mind onto the board and use it so you can get new ideas and stick them on the board and manifest. Alright, so let's begin. Um, I'm using my nine spread uh, card, nine card spread, which I use in the extensive readings. Um, but it's, it's uh, I'm just taking, uh, I'm just giving a slight tip of uh, what I do in an extended reading because I don't use uh, two decks ming mingled in. I use uh, all the cards like the tarot then the other deck or another a Linamon deck or a tarot deck will be the clarifying cards plus the oracle cards. Okay, all depending whether it's a love reading or a general reading or a compatibility reading. So let me know if you want an ex would like an extensive reading then go to the information and get into contact. Now, I'm going to pretend that you're sitting across me, the camera is you, and you are the querent. And this is my querent card, and I work around the querent card. Now, usually you see me doing four in, on top and four at the bottom with the uh, two oracle cards, or three or four, just as the mood takes or what I'm told to do. Um, so I'm going to, I've just changed it. This is the theme card, the bottom of the deck card, that's the querent. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the Linamon cards are your clarifiers. Okay, and that will be, these three cards will clarify, will be clarified by this or will clarify the Linamon or vice versa. The same with this card, 
we'll take three of these and the same with the bottom. Okay, so let's get started with you. <laughs> and you've got the four of ones, so there is stability. There's sound founda foundations, okay. You might have bought a house, you might have rented a new house, and you will be staying there quite a bit for long term. Or you might be getting married, as this is the marriage card. But take it in general, it could be celebrations. Could be celebrations because you're going back to work. Or you might have a new job, or you might indeed get partnered up. <coughs> if you're not partnered up yet. Okay, awesome. You're making your web. <laughs> and making your web could be very ideal. Making more friends, because when you go to a celebration or a gathering, then you'll meet people and there will be sound, frown, uh, sound relationships, because this is built on proper foundations. Because it's the four of staves. Okay, the four of wands. Now, on Monday, you have the ace of wands. So, you've got a lot of action going on right from the start. This is you sitting in the hand of the divine. The divine is giving you something to do. Perhaps a new job. Perhaps uh, a new passion. Perhaps a new hobby. And she is playing music. Uh, no, she's not playing music. Yes, she is. She's playing music and she's thinking. There you are. I hope you can see it. It's like a, a little guitar, I think. But I'm saying you've got the world in your hand. Okay. You've got yourself in your hand. So you can decide to start this new beginning, this new passion, or this new job or hobby. Might be playing music. It might be playing at a wedding. Who knows? You might be getting invited to play at a wedding or a celebration. It's a new beginning. And you could be a new passion. Could be with a fire sign. Wow. Okay, Taurus. You are an earth sign, so be careful. You are, you're not so fast as the fire signs. You're more for durability and long term. So if you would like this relationship uh, to uh, last and be long term, then know your boundaries and let them know your boundaries. And also get to know their boundaries and so that you can balance it. Because you, Taurus, will ba pull back the um, swiftness of the uh, wands or the fire sign and they will have to come down to your level and you will have to go up to their level a peg to carry on this relationship and keep the equilibrium and here you've got the king of swords the king of swords is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius okay he's writing here he might you might be writing your thoughts down this you might be writing your thoughts in a diary, or you might be keeping your thoughts in a diary, uh, or your dreams, your ideas, as the um, swords stand for wisdom, uh, thoughts, ideas, communication, and judicial um, ju uh, municipalities and institutions, like uh, bankers, like uh, an advocate, a lawyer, a notary public, teachers, uh, doctors, um, or anything to do with well-learned people, people with that are eager to learn. Okay, so you might be seeking advice. This could be from a marriage guidance counselor, because it's, um, or it could be um, uh, somebody from the register office. Then he's noting down dates. You might be making dates to get married. Okay, wow. That is exciting, okay. And this could be a person um, that uh, works in an institution, like I said. So you might be also getting adv uh, advice with regards to work or a hobby, or getting putting a hobby into work. So the world is your oyster, but you need to do it legally, and you most probably have to sign contracts. This could also be with regards to a new job. 
you could, like I said, this could be your wedding certificate or it could be a birth certificate um, because there are celebrations. Let me have a look. Um, I don't see birth, I don't see the Empress or the the Queen of Pentacles but it, there is a new start so this is could be like I said a passion um, this could also be a hobby but I suppose it could also be a birth some of you might be finding out you're pregnant and you might go and see a, a gynecologist yes somebody that cuts gynecologists always cut the cord okay of the baby so that could be a gynecologist that you might see or a GP because you're finding out that you're pregnant okay or you could be meeting a Gemini if you're not hooked up and you will be getting married to this person Wow but don't exclude Libra like I said or Aquarius okay um, again there will be celebrations there's going to be double celebrations with family and friends awesome could be a wedding but it could also be a birth it could be uh, getting a job could be getting this this house uh, could be because you're getting engaged um, or a birth like I said and you've also got the Knight of Cups and this one is on Friday so it's a good time to celebrate on Friday or Saturday or Sunday so at the weekend it's going to be party time and you've got the Knight of Cups so there is an offer coming in this could be your passion this could be love or something that you love to nurture a job in the healthcare this could or you might be meeting a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces awesome I love this this is beautiful news happy news because it's lying next to the celebration card the four of wands now we're going into the Lenaman card and you have the fox so be careful of sly people remember a fox sheds his fur but not his tricks somebody might be keeping an eye on you there is a good way a good thing with every card and a negative thing okay the good thing is somebody might be keeping an eye on you um, that could be your boss or a potential new lover or partner okay and again it is fire you've got a lot of fire in your reading so there's a lot of action and this is the nine of wands the nine of clover so there will be an ending to problems and where there is an ending there is a new beginning this is 14 so you are out of balance perhaps you might not feel very ooh, at home in your own skin because you know somebody's done you wrong somebody is poisonous but you're leaving it behind uh, because the nine of wands is an end you've had lots of issues with a fire sign could most probably a fire sign but it could be with anybody it could be a water sign or an air sign okay because cups is here and lots of fire okay and one sword card the king okay now um, so there might be a promotion promotion at work Okay, that's the good thing but the other thing is is that there might be somebody a bit sly and not trustworthy so be careful now let's have a look how do we read this card with the three okay you um, know that there is a person that is not to be trusted or a situation is not to be trusted so you might will just decide to walk away perhaps that is what you're thinking here you're sitting here and you know the world is your oyster and you have the angels backing you up and the divine and you're getting an offer boom here you've got the offer as well and they're lying very close this could be of a water sign or a fire sign 
Now, if you know that somebody is not trustworthy or somebody's trying to get into your relationship to come between you and your loved one, then cut them out. Don't invite them to the wedding or the celebration. Okay? Because you've got other people around you that will protect you. That could be a judicial situation. Okay? You will get protection definitely from the judicial situ um, uh, municipality or institution. Okay? And that could be the king of swords because he'll cut straight through to the core because he knows the letter of the law and he'll defend you to the end through thick and thin it could be that um, you're getting an offer if you are in a judicial situation and you it, that will give you a new beginning you might have got divorced and you want to get married and you want stability so to make a compromise if you have an issue with uh, an ex because when I read in the extensive then this row is the past this is the present and that is the future the pos and the energy that will lie in your future so you've got you know that untrustworthy people aren't worth um, keeping as friends because they will always uh, be sly they never change their tricks foxes shed hair but they don't change their tricks okay or streaks now we're going on to this card and that is 35 which becomes an 8 you are in your power and this is also the your power house and your money house so you might all of a sudden come into money because you've started a new job and you've got an offer and you're going to take it this is the nine of swords you have been worrying and stressed or you might have had sleepless nights but the anchor is a good card if you've got a question will I win this judicial uh, this case yes you are moving uh, you have moved to or you're coming home to a safe haven okay you're putting your anchor there because you feel safe in this house in this relationship you know what you have you can stand your ground because you're in your power you are grounded awesome and you it's clear to you because clarity and honesty it is clear to you this is what you want you want permanency you want uh, protection uh, protection you want a steady solid relationship something that's built on proper foundations and it is full of passion and there is a new beginning okay you know you've got good and bad in every race in every creed and every color um, also in I'm not saying that any sign is worse or bad or good or better I'm just saying be aware because it's not just a sign we are made out uh, our chart is made up of uh, the Sun sign the moon sign and the rising sign but also planets and that's Mercury for instance, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, etc, etc. So you cannot put one finger on one sign. You should never ever sh um, uh, share everybody over one comb. I don't know why that came up, uh, most probably because of the fox, but don't uh, say oh I don't like fire signs or Gemini's or um, Pisces or Aries everybody is different and we're all different thank goodness so that's why we're not boring and you just have to give everybody a chance okay so if you've partnered up or, or had a friend uh, that is a water sign or a fire sign 
uh, and somebody else is br br uh, offering you friendship and they are a water sign or a fire sign then don't compare them with somebody else wow and now I see the cross the cross means have faith have faith in yourself and have faith in others as they have faith in you so like I said if you start uh, a relationship again with a fire sign or a water sign or any other sign and you've been out let's say you've lived together or been married or partnered up with a water sign or an air sign or a fire sign don't compare them to the previous one 36 9 an ending you've got the six six of ones you've got victory whatever you do you've got victory in public rec recognition you are moving on and upwards you might go on holiday or moving home well that's what we have here as well the home and marriage celebrations you have decisions and choices to make it's like the cross is have faith come out of your depression or out of your mind open your mind to new ideas to new beginnings know that you have victory and you have public recognition wow now how does that relate now public recognition you are the champion that causes for celebration wow you most probably have won a court case so again you have victory you've got public recognition you've got recognition from the court okay from the judge awesome now we're going to come to the clover again you have the six of diamonds the six of pentacles and that is my card that if you are more fortunate you'll be giving most probably to the fortunate and if you're not so fortunate then you might be um, receiving something from a person that's more fortunate than you are you are coming back into balance luck is on your side now this is my card for give and take yes when you get married you will give and you will take till death do you part hopefully and you're in balance so luck is on your side so that is give and take and understand luck is on your side very happy time loving nurturing caring passion and definitely a lot of passion in this corner wow okay well Taurus you have a beautiful reading it's my favorite reading up till now and you've got the magician card now the magician uh, can be um, Gemini again this is the king of the king of swords and the king of swords um, is uh, Gemini but don't exclude when it is uh, the king of swords then I say don't exclude uh, Libra or um, uh, don't exclude Libra or Aquarius but the magician um, is also Gemini because the magician uh, can do a lot of th things and Gemini does a lot of things so that is why I say or the magician can be Aries, Aries. so that is your fire sign and your air, air sign look at the horns okay and the duality okay so that is your card the magician or you might meet an Aries or a Gemini and they are also in your reading because you've got the fire signs okay Wow amazing you've got fire here uh, you've got fire here the six of wands so you've got a lot of fire energy uh, so there will be a very busy time for you and you know don't worry about it just take time out when you need to okay you've got it in your own hands okay you are your own boss stand in your power 
OK. And you have the Moth Angel Feather. OK. And the Moth Angel Feather, have courage. Yes, have courage. Stand in your strength and stay standing firmly on the ground. Courage and faith. Indeed, you need, you need to have faith to trust again if you've been uh, hurt in the past. Okay? You need courage and you need faith. Where's the faith? Okay. So that is also in your reading. That is absolutely amazing. It always flabbergasts me how the cards come together. The angels are present and call upon you to be courageous. Drawn on, draw on and trust in your deep faith, spiritual beliefs and the angels and ask the angels to assist you at this time. So whenever you need the angels, just ask. And your angel, um, Archangel, uh, is, hold on, because mauve, we've only got angels here, but it's the lilac color, it's a bit mauve, mauve lilac, um, is your fifth eye angelic chakra. So ask Archangel Sapfkil, Sapfkil, or Angel Servil, that's the angel of the golden light to give you courage. Okay, you've got the golden light here. Ooh, the fire is also golden light. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading, uh, Taurus. And remember, the angels have your back. I love this reading. Take care and stay positive and safe. Please like and share and I hope to see you on Monday, Wednesday or Friday or all three evenings in the life. I give away free cards and I answer questions um, that are supported with a donation or by a donation, a super chat or a super sticker. So take care, be blessed and be safe. Thank you for sharing and liking.